Here they come. Shamaz Nemet. Sorry to bother, but uh, I'm looking for the Shemaz of this place. Katakizai, Yad's Almighty. You speak perfect Akakamon, the lost language of Kazar's false prophecy. Who are you? Well, I'm glad you can understand me. The name's Cutter Slade. You might have heard of the Ulukai. Ulukai? <laughs> I am sorry. This is a strange moment. I haven't spoken Akakamon in many moons. I am Nemet, Shamaz of Amiya. Nice to meet you. Listen, Liaz sent me. You gotta help me out. I don't think I can but speak, and I will listen. Can you heal me? Brace yourself. The odds guide my hands. Listen, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but your gods, I mean Yods, brought me to your dimension for a reason. I need to know what that reason is so I can return to my family. Long story short, I gotta speak with the Almael. Only Shamazes can be invited to Kizar outside of Vokostok, and I am a Shamaz. Amazing. Go pack your lunchbox then. We leave in ten. Hmm. I have felt the call of the Almael. The children of Kizar are sick and they need healing. But what can a Shamaz do? The path to Kizar is long and fought with invaders. You might survive, but a Shamaz would surely revert. Look, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Once we get to this Kizar, we can figure out what to do about the kids, too. We? The spear protects the island of Kizar from all intruders. And the Almayel doesn't know you. I'm sorry. The Almayel won't meet with you. That's exactly why I need you to slip in, talk to the Almayel, and figure out how to get me home to see my own kid, because you're right. This whole thing is about our children, right? Hmm. If one could reactivate the... I believe you call them portals? Is that the right Akakamun word for Dialkas? Then traveling from Mamiya to Kizar would be just like that. Whoosh. The space of three breaths. But Chief Hatsa won't allow it. The invaders made our Daukas not work, you know. He doesn't want to anger them more. You may not have any issues with authority, but I do. I can help reactivate your Daoka if it gets us to Kizar. Hmm. Helping you goes against Chief Hatsa's command. I could be called a traitor. But... The children are my priority, and Talans are a grateful people. We reward heroic deeds. Help us with the Daoka, and I will, how do you say, be a champion of you, Tahatso and the Almayel. Is that how you say it? Doesn't sound right.
Are you sure we even need a Daoka to travel to Kizar? Maybe you don't, but these old legs do. Retrieve the core that the invaders have stolen, and I will introduce you to the Almayel in Kizar. I gotta go now. Yachts bless you. Slay to Lias. I spoke with the Shemaz of Mia. Nemet, is he willing to help? Yeah, under one condition. That I turn their Daoka back on. You will need to recover its core that was stolen by the invaders. They keep it in a nearby base. You've been there? It's too dangerous for the Talans. Our weapons cannot match their firepower. I can show you where it is located. I'm on it. Thanks, Liaz. Where's that? Here you are. There's something wrong with your comm link. I turned it off. You did? What? What are you doing? We took this from them. I'm sure they'd want their relics back. We could use it to parlay. You know we don't have the clearance to do that. I came looking for you. Your father wants to see us at HQ. Maybe this mission isn't only about what he wants, Colonel. Let that sink in for a while. Vision. Was that the Daoka core Nemet is looking for? They're coming for me.
coming from. General Burham, you asked to see us? You can skip the decorum, sweetheart. Just call me father. Okay. Father. I don't want you on the ground anymore. The situation has escalated. What's happening, General? This footage comes from the black box recovered in one of our damaged drones. Look. A rogue agent? It's impossible. Exactly, Colonel. This is proof the savages are sorcerers. They can get in our minds, mess with our heads. Clearly, it's some kind of alien shapeshifter. Really? Come on, Father. This is getting a little ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? You're the fleet negotiator, and you still haven't managed to communicate with a single prisoner. Yet you keep assuring me these primates are intelligent. We're taking over their land. Just because they don't welcome us doesn't mean they're stupid. This is General Borum. Send reinforcement convoys to all bases. Do it now. Looks like the odds are turning me into a psychic. Anyway, thanks for the time. What do you 
say, Mary? Looks like our little one loves her present. It's all she could talk about for the last two months. That's eight weeks, Slade. Weeks, months. Got dispatched to Costa Rica. Black Ops. You know I couldn't check it for her birthday. It's... It's just too hard on Camilla. The longing, the questions. You can't show up unannounced and then disappear again for God knows how long. What? What are you saying? That I should stop coming? Not like this. You're either in or out of her life. You understand? That's the job, Wolf. You, if anyone, should understand that. I do understand. So, please do not come back until you receive the paperwork from the lawyer. detour or something so this is the place behold the spear impressive but I'm still counting on you You'll keep your promise, right? <sighs> it's all gonna be fine, Slade. still have sick children to tend to. The Amayel will see you now. Thanks, Nemet. Don't thank me yet, Ulukai. for just one. So you're the mysterious stranger. The Almayel sees you, human. Speak your Aga come on words, and the Almayel shall listen. Uh, I'm confused. Which one of you is the Almayel? I am the Almayel, one luminous being. The ruler of Adelpha, the precious link between Talans and the Yards. I see. I'm only here because I'd like to go back to my dimension. But your Yards? Well, they seem to want something else. I think they're trying to tell me something. Blasphemy! Only the Almayel can hear the voice of the Yards. Why would the Yards address a human? Maybe this Ulukai thing? The odds they've shown me things, like visions. 
Oh, and I heard a voice, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's if that. Lies! Humans, Humans are, are liars! liars. Leave, Leave this sacred sanctuary, sanctuary at, at once. once! No, wait! The Almayel Al has, has spoken. spoken. Hold on! Liaz told me that you could answer my questions. Liaz. The sound of that name casts ripples on the perfect surface of Melia. It shall not be spoken in Kizar. All right, look. I meant no disrespect, but I have a message from your yachts, okay? I'm sure you want to hear it. Let's work something out and you can help me get off this rock. Speak now or leave. Do we have a deal? Speak! Okay, so it goes something like this. Nas, your cat. I'm a... not... Mm, nectar? Yards Almighty. Almighty. You see? <laughs> I told you it was important. Imposter! Imposter. How, How dare, dare you mock, mock the Almayel? <sighs> Look, I'm working on my accent, all right? Listen to me, I have died. Actually died, okay? But I keep waking up in some kind of vortex with this echo, the same words repeating. Nas your cat. No. Nas your cat. Amanor. Nika! That's more like it. The message speaks, Agazork. So, so it is, is true. You, you hear, hear the voice of the odds. Hearing was the easy part. Care to translate? Oh, wait. I think I already know what it means. Save, Save us, us from, from extinction. extinction. How do I? What language am I speaking? The odds have translated the message. The Almayel sees and hears what is left to comprehend. To save us from extinction, we must protect. Kizar must be protected to save the Talans from extinction. Kizar must procreate to save the Talans from extinction. So, which one is it? The Almayel is one luminous being. It looks like it takes at least two to disagree. Not my place to debate, but you got your message, so what about our deal? Save us from extinction. And the Yods will send you back to your world. One man against an army. <sighs> Yods can't be serious about this. You two don't strike me as someone who would get their sense of humor, so... Hey, where's she going? Can I have a word? The Almayel hears you. Why do you think procreation is the key to the Yod's message? The Almayel understands the voice of the Yod's, and they want Akastok to be celebrated again. I have to go now. For now. The Yod's are waiting. Can I have a word? The Almaya. What's Okastok? The festival celebrates the cycle of life. Can't you hear? Birth is silent. Thousands of moons without new life leads to extinction. Complete the circle, follow the will of the Yards, and the message shall become. What do you mean, become? Become what? The message can't be trusted until it brings the first Daraman to the Almayel. The first of many. What's a Daraman exactly? A Daraman is a symbol of Talan unity. The festival of Akastok can't happen while the villages of Adelpha remain isolated. Help them. 
Unite the people behind their leaders, and you shall receive their Daromans in return. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. You have returned. I have to... For now. Can we talk? The Almael sees you. I thought the spear was already protecting this island. But you seem to think the Yods want it even more protected? How? You must understand that this can only be half. Half spoken. Got it. You don't want your sister knowing the details. My lips are sealed. Just lay it on me. This island is built on the largest source of white helidium in all of Adelpha. The Almayel uses it to power the spear, but it's depleting quickly and won't last forever. If they are willing to help, the Dalatai Guardians could find a way to bring more white helidium to the island. Understood. I'll talk to Liaz. If that's what it takes to redeem the Guardians, she'll be all for it. Dalatai Guardians are outcasts. Their outlawed order started our descent into extinction. They are forbidden to enter Kizar. Well, without Liaz, I wouldn't be here talking to you, and the message of the Yods would be lost forever, so come on. She just wants to see her daughter. Ishana and Liaz share the same fey essence, as did Yan, her former partner, who reverted so many Dalatai guardians in his foolish attempt at violence. Was it really foolish to sacrifice themselves to save you all? You among all people should appreciate the value of protection. You need to listen to Liaz, because this is how the invaders are winning right now. They divide and rule. Divide and rule? Words of Sankra. And yet the Almayel sees wisdom in them. Wisdom's good. If the message can convince the Dalatai Guardians to protect the spear, the Almayel will half-speak in their favor, and Liaz shall be heard. Thank you. Thank you for that bit of mercy. The Almayel has half spoken. Thanks for your time. Time doesn't mean anything for the Yods.
We asked, do you read me? Yes, Ulukai. The Dolatai Guardians will help you. How do you... I haven't said anything. When you were talking to the El Mael, you left your channel open. I heard everything. After studying the map, I've identified several facilities that are storing copious amounts of white telidium. I can clear the outpost. Can you send your people to collect after me? Sure. But there's a problem. Uh, of course there is. Hit me. White telidium can't pass through a Kaoka. Small amounts are fine, but it gets unstable in large quantity. The Daoka could explode and obliterate the area, just like in Talanzar, 15 cycles ago. Any safer option? We could use a fisher Talan boat. I can centralize the shipments in the coastal village of Sapa. That will take some coordination, but it can be done. Well, you think they'll do it? If I'm ever gonna get home, we need to find a way for everyone to contribute. Y'all got no advanced weapons, no vehicles, no protection. There's not much to work with here. Talons are resourceful. I'm sure every village has something to offer. You just have to figure out what exactly. Talk to the chiefs. It shouldn't be too difficult now that you're fluent in our language. What are you talking about? Ulukai, you do realize we're having this discussion in Agazork. Really? The odds did something to me. I have a feeling they're only getting started. Thanks for the map coordinates, Lias. Let's do this. Slate out. Where's that? Nimet, how are the children? I healed them, but I couldn't find the cause of the disease. So I'm afraid I'll have to return if the stomach cramps start again. But duty calls in my village too, so I should head back to Emiya now. Speaking of Emiya, you don't have a spare Daramon, do you? I'm gonna need a bunch of them, and frankly, I got no idea where to start. My village is as good a starting point as any if you're on the lookout for Daramons. Amiya has its share of issues like every other place on Adelpha, I'm sure. Help us and I will bless our Daramon myself. Or help other villages first, because by the odds, the whole of Adelpha needs help. important. Can I have a minute? Wherever you come from, they must have taught you how to properly address a chief. I am Hatsu, leader of the MA. And who might you be, funny one? I'm Cutter Slade. Not sure if you've heard of me. Ah, yes, the Ulukai I've been warned about. Emir is not interested in your stories. I would offer you a delicious morag on your way out, but supplies are limited. Just give me a minute. What are you afraid of? I was elected supreme in front of the Yods. I am not afraid of anything. Now listen. 
We already have one useless troublemaker in this village. We don't need another. Who is that? You haven't met Doc yet. He's by the lake. You should visit him and swap your ridiculous stories about saving the planet. Those invaders everyone's worried about. Have you fought them? Why would I? I want to stop negotiations with them to ensure Emir's safety. Negotiations? You see what they're doing out there. They'll take your land and enslave you. Don't spit your violence at me. You want us to provoke the invaders. Emir is peaceful. We sell fruit. Nothing more. Listen, Chief Hatso, the Yod sent me here for a reason. I can help if you let me. Have you ever walked through the charred ruins of the Procriana Library? Scattered in the dirt are the remains of a hundred victims. There are no martyrs in Emir, and no heroes. We don't need any Urukai here. That is why we live. Okay. Just how are the negotiations going? I haven't met one that I could have a conversation with so far, but I am committed to making the effort. I believe the invaders have some unfinished business in Dasan. I just want to send them a signal that we are willing to collaborate, if it can speed up their departure. Where I come from, they don't like collaborators during a war. War? Would you stop with the violence? There are no warriors here. Now go. Leave me. Drink Morag juice in the treetops. Always a pleasure to see you leave. I'm worried about you, Ulukai. Where are you? I'm still in Amir. You heard about some... What's wrong with this generation? Let me guess. It's those damn video games. No. There hasn't been a conversion ceremony in a dozen cycles. It's too dangerous to bring our youth to the Well of Essence. So these young talons have no essence? to reveal exactly that. Oh, I was a teenager once. It can get pretty confusing. They figure it out. Eventually. Slay it out. Hi. What is happening here? Oh my god! I can't believe it! Did the Yod send you to meet with Doc? I wish I knew. The odds are being a bit vague with me. Who's Doc? I am Doc. Search no more. This is the place. The place? What are you doing here? <sighs> Surely the ambassador of the Yods would know. I'm following my father's quest, of course. I wanted to pick up where Cosmere left off, so I quit my job in the treetops and spent all my Zorkins on a diving suit. That doesn't really work. You're joining my quest, then? Well, that depends. Um, are you taking no for an answer? Sounds like a yes! Come, much work to be done. As my father used to say, practice makes perfect. Your old man around? Kind of. He reverted at the bottom of this lake. I tried to save him, but I can't swim and almost got reverted myself. I'm so afraid of the water. Sorry to hear that. You should learn to swim, and practice makes, you know, perfect. Why would you build your cabin by a lake if you can't swim? The Yods laugh at me because I was denied a proper conversion ceremony. 
They test me again and again with water, but there's no way I'm an Aloy to land. I hate water. Father hated it too. But I will have the last laugh. I will achieve my destiny. What destiny would that be? Well, the ancients marked a nearby rock for my father to discover millions of moons later. The engraved stone foretold his only son would find an artifact in a lake. An artifact that would save Amiya from extinction. He tried to claim it for me, but water scares me even more now. Can I have a look at the rock you're talking about? My father showed it to so many people. He even made me memorize it in case it was destroyed. No one believed us. Who trusts prophecies anymore? Right? Well, speaking of prophecies, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Ulukai. Oh my yods! Of course! My father told me everything about the savior of Adelpha. It's you? That's what Liaz seems to think. I don't remember much of my past. The yods have planned our encounter. I will show you the engravings, Ulukai. Together, we can save Amiya on your way to saving Adelpha. Sure. Who am I to go against that level of enthusiasm? Show me the engraved stone. Follow me. Here it is. Hold on. What's the matter? You go ahead. I'm not worthy to face my father's hazardous yet. What is this? Don't touch it! It's ancient magic! What the... chalk? Ulukai? Are you alright? Um, Dak, <laughs> you should come and have a look at this. God's almighty! You touched it! What have you done? Casimir always forbid me to... Oh... Unless the ancients were into childish doodles, I think your dad was having a bit of fun with you. It's all... It's very confusing. When was the last time you came here? I was young and naive. There is no artifact. No adventure. I have ruined my life for a false prophecy. Sometimes memories play tricks on us. You know, we see what we want to see. He lied to me. Filled my head with fairy tales. I am so stupid. I should plan my reversion now. Get it over with! Look. Casimir might have elaborated on his story to make it a bit more entertaining. Kids get easily bored, There's you know. nothing in the lakes. Pretending there is won't honor my father's memory or mine. Wait a minute. Your dad didn't draw everything on this rock. There are ancient symbols here, see? I see what you're doing, but Hatso is right. I have to grow up. Have a look for yourself. See those shapes there? I think I know what they are. An X marks the spot. Whoa! Oh my god! You're right, Ulukai! It's a map of the lakes, and there must be something in that one. We're so close. I can feel it, partner. We're partners. Partners? Hold your horses, Doc. I was happy to help, but I have my own agenda, you know. I am so excited. You have to dive into the lake, Ulukai. You have to save Amiya. Are you even listening to what I just- Meet me at the lake. People will write songs about this day. Let's go.
Guess your dad wasn't the nut job people say he was. Here's your artifact. I only wish he could see this. This... It's so... I have no clue what this is. That makes two of us, but hey, it levitates. That's a start. Not sure how we can use this to fight the invaders, but let's find out together. Your destiny weaves into mine, Ulukai. My father would have been proud. Did Kazmir mention an instruction manual or anything? No. He kept repeating this would help our people. He wanted to convince Hatso. Hatso should see this! Okay. I'm gonna push this thing to Amiya. Thank you, Ulukai. For everything. The light at the engraved rock. You really think it's your father's spirit? What's a spirit? It's Cosmere's Hazardous. He reverted before he could accomplish his destiny, so his Hazardous lingers here, unable to journey to Palana until we finish what he started. Cosmere has to find peace before he reunites with the odds. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait. Make room, my friends! I have a clear shot! Hey! Robin Hood, lower the bow, okay? I don't take orders from you! Fair enough. <laughs> Everybody, calm down! This dirty piece of trash smells terrible. Why have you brought this here, stranger? I command you to dump it back where you found it, at once. Hatso, listen to me, Doc. I... we found the relic Casimir was looking for. Of course, you are behind this, you babbling simpleton. This is going to save the village from the invaders. 
just like the ancients predicted. Nonsense. Do you want to get us all reverted? What? No. There is nothing to see here. Disperse before the invaders spot our gathering from the sky. You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I feel their suspicions. I hope the artifact is safe here. There are a lot of people in Amiya. You think someone would know what this thing is? No one knows. It's too... Wait! Nemet! He's the oldest Talon in town! He has read many scrolls. Even some of the most ancient ones. Maybe he has a clue. Could you please talk to him? I have to stay here and guard the artifact. People are getting too curious, especially Azan. Come see me anytime. Hello, Shamaz Nemet. What in the yachts? I didn't realize it before, but how did you learn to speak Agazork so fast? Wait, is that a Shamazar accent I'm hearing? Really? I think the Yachts did something to me when I delivered their message to the Almael. Oh, I see. Praise them. Be careful, Ulukai. Activating the Daokas has caught the invaders' attention. Can I ask how old you are? Older than a fresh Hoti and younger than a fey tree. You are the master of being vague. I'm the master of controlling my emotions. Expect anger and rage next time you ask a male to learn that question. Didn't mean to offend you, Nemet. The reason I ask is this thing we dredged up from the lake, it seems really old, like ancient. I thought a guy with your experience uh, came across it in a scroll or something. Hmm. I recall no description of such an object, and I've read my fair share of scrolls, both mundane and sensational. The item looks like it's from a pre-Talan era. So, where is that Daramon of yours, and how can I score it quick? Aeneas Daramon doesn't exist yet. The chief of the village creates a Daramon as a token of gratitude. Speak to my fellow Talans, and they will tell you how you can help them. If you're a good friend to Amiya, it's Daramon you shall receive. Good luck with that, so, though. Yeah. How to make friends on alien worlds. I must have left that book on the shelf. I'll try my luck here and in other places I come across, too. Where can I find informative scrolls? Maybe Doc can read them to me. Doc wouldn't know where to start. Most treetop inhabitants can't read, except maybe for more who took late classes. Your best chance would be to ask a scholar at the Dano Library. Yeah, I think I lost my library card. Can I borrow yours? Ah, a joke. Was it funny? Forgive me for not laughing. Humor harms the purity of the essence. Where is the Dano Library? Good question. Does it still exist? Was the Dano Library totally destroyed with the bombing of Procreana? Or does just a sliver still remain? You should go and find out. Were all the scholars, uh, reverted to? There must be survivors. I heard the assistant of the head librarian dodged a reversion the day the invaders unleashed their wrath upon Procreana. If he's alive, he must be very, very old. Sounds like I should find him soon, then. Who is he? His name is Kureg. His ears were already shot when I was borrowing scrolls in my young age. I can't imagine the bombs helped his hearing. He might be the best hope to understand your artifact. He spent his whole life studying old scrolls that are now lost forever. Kureg, huh? I'll try to find him. Thanks, Emmett. I would say good luck, stranger, but you make your own luck. Remember that. 
Yes, have you heard about this Kureg guy? I was about to call you Ulukai. I made a strange discovery. And since you have to go to Prokriana, I'm activating a Daoka so we can talk face to face. All right. Oh, jumping in the first Daoka now. Let's meet. stashed it there before I... It's for you. Here. The necklace! It glows! It's an amulet. Made out of one of the magic stones they have on Adelpha. Mom got one too? It must look so good on her. Listen, Camilla. I have to tell you something. You'll have to be strong. Baby girl. That's the amulet Lias was looking for when we met. Guess I had. You made it. How did you turn that on? It's the strangest thing. Remember where my Dolotai got abducted the moon we met? I found a Daoka core at that exact location, almost as if someone put it there on purpose. That woman I saw, she must have used the core as a friendly gesture. I think she wants to negotiate with you. Negotiate? Do you know how many talent the invaders have reverted in the last couple of moons alone? I won't fall into their sneaky traps. I don't know what to tell you, Liaz. The Yod send me those visions, and I don't know if I can trust them. Anyway, thanks for the trip. Can you show me where I can find Kurag? The old librarian. You should find him at what's left of the Dano Library. I've only met him once, after the bombing. Good luck talking to him. Wait. Why would I need luck? <laughs> You'll see. 